In this video, we will sew a simple skirt in clothes ready. I will share with you some tips and tricks on how to sew this guarded skirt quick and easy step by step. These include using some basic tool in Close 3D, such as a segment sewing tool, an added sewing tool, and more. Then apply the fabrics as well as the top stitches to give a finished look. Okay, so this is important. We want to sew this side skirt, okay, together left side to left side right side to right side or vice versa and we want to use two tools for that one tool is for sewing which is segment sewing tool and another tool is edit sewing tool which is over here so you'll notice that some tool have this point arrow pointing up that tool mean that is edit tool and for example, if I select segment sewing tool, which is the second sewing icon here, and select that segment sewing tool, then I'm going to click one right here to start my sewing, okay? Okay, so I made a mistake here. When it's come to sewing, we want the sewing knots parallel with one another. But I did not sew it carefully, so as you can see, this sewing kind of twisted. We do not want that. We want the sewing to be parallel. I will show you. Okay, so since my sewing twisted, I need to either delete to re-sew, or I can use this edit sewing tool right here. Okay, click on it to select. Then click on that sewing, okay? then i'm going to right click and then select reverse sewing or i can select delete sewing whichever i like so reverse sewing to reverse the notches now the sewing kind of parallel with one to another so next we are going to sew the waistband to the skirt pattern to do that we will switch the tool back to segment sewing tool which is the second icon here click on it then i'm going to come over here and hover the mouse over that waistband right there click to place the sewing then click on this pattern here to sew that pattern together we will do the same over here i'm going to click one to place and then click once again to sew that two pieces together. Next, I'm going to sew the side of the skirt pattern with the side of the skirt pattern. Okay, so after that, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. We want to sew the side waistband as well. Click on it, then click on it to sew. So if you wonder right here, when we hover the mouse over it, is a little bit confusing when you're first starting out however when you hover the mouse over here if you don't click on that sewing it won't sew so for example if i have it like it looks like it is sewing but actually isn't i have to click one to play the sewing then i have to click once again to sew those pieces together okay after that i'm going to Come over here to the 3D window and I want to look at a few thing here. I want to rotate around see if the sewing are twisted or not before we decide to simulate the skirt. Okay. It looks like the sewing looks pretty good. However, a couple of things we can do here. So since this gather skirt is so huge compared to the waistband when we simulate the skirt will pull the waistband down that make the waistband doesn't fit really well so we can do something to that by apply some elastic up here to these top lines 
However, the elastic not going to be a lot, only a little amount to allow this fabric to have this kind of stretchy feel rather than just plain fabric. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to this edit pattern tool, click on it, then hover the mouse to the right and then select that edit pattern tool. Then I'm going to click one right there on that top line. Okay. Then I'm going to press down shift and then click one on the top line of that waistband. After that, I'm going to come down here to this property editor and I'm going to click on that slider here and then slide up until I see the elastic. Okay. So right over here, this is the elastic. I'm going to check to turn it on. Okay. And I'm going to change the strength to three. Just highlight it and then type in number three. Then I'm going to press return into on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I'm going to once again, change the ratio to 95. So click highlight and then type in 95. Then press return into on the keyboard to confirm. Just like that. After that, I'm going to come over here to this 2D toolbar, then select the transform pattern tool. And I'm going to either my key selects all these pattern pieces. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Either my key selects all these pattern pieces like that, or I can use command or control plus letter A to select all that pattern pieces. After that, I'm going to right click and select strengthen. So a strengthen function allows us to see how the fabric hang in a way. For example, when we sew this gutter shirt, I want to see how the skirt hang. Okay, so you will see in a minute when I press the space bar or the simulation icon here to simulate. Okay, so I'm going to click on it. Okay, then I just press on the space bar to stop the simulation. Let me click on that. So when I click on this gizmo square right there and I can drag the whole pattern up. Then I'm going to press down the space bar one again to simulate. Okay. Then I'm going to press down the space bar one again to stop. And I'm going to adjust it up a little more. Then press down the space bar. Okay. You see how the skirt hang? It's more like a gather skirt that we see the puffy effect. Would it be like a cotton or a muslin fabric? So next I'm going to right click on top that pattern pieces and I'm going to select unstrengthen just like that. Then I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. Okay. So our skirt looked pretty good. However, though, there is a couple of things we want to do here. So there you have it designista. I hope you find this video helps and remember to sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos. Thank you.